Hi, this is Shelly with Quilt Stitching by Shelly. Um, with the COVID-19 flu virus being in the news so much lately, I've been thinking a lot about my quilty folk. And I've been kind of wondering if you've had any concerns about me or any other long armor working on your quilts. So I wanted to provide some information to you regarding my past, current, and future practices. But first, I did want to mention that if you currently have any quilts in my queue, I will contact you prior to working on them to ensure it's okay to continue to work on your quilt. I can under appreciate that there are some businesses that have closed and even if it's only for a a couple weeks and you were in one of those businesses, you may um, not want to spend your money in that area. So I have no problem holding that for you. Or if you even want me to return it to you for a little while, that's fine. But um, again, I don't have any problem storing that in my queue for you until, you know, maybe a month down the road. It's okay. Um, I tend to have quilts in my queue for a couple months anyway. So I just wanted to put that out there for you. Um, and if we have been in contact and I have a slot or I have one of your quilts slotted in my queue, meaning I've kind of made a work request for it to hold that slot. Um, if you're local but you don't want to venture out, just remember it's okay to mail quilts. I know we get nervous about dropping our beautiful artwork in the mail, but I have received them in the mail and I have returned them in the mail. So just know that's an option for you. Um, of course, if you're not local and I know I have a quilt coming from you in the future, um, just again, kind of give me a heads up on that. We like to keep an eye out for it, whether it's USPS, UPS, or FedEx. So now onto the good stuff. Um, I kind of want to reassure you that I take special care of items when they're in my studio. Um, having been in the military and law enforcement, I've kind of been adhering to universal precautions, became second nature to me, and I've always continued to practice flu prevention routines, even outside of the normal flu season. Um, even before the heightened alert of the COVID-19 flu virus, I can assure you I wash my hands often, and believe it or not, I step out of the studio if I feel even a sneeze about to happen. I know that may make me a little bit of a weirdo, but hey, you know, it is what it is. It's part of my charm at this point. <laughs> um, quilt shops are continuing to mail and ship fabric has been deemed safe by the CDC. So does a virus continue to flourish or live on fabric or clothes indefinitely? No. Um, but since scientists and physicians continue to learn more about the particular virus, I wanted to take a moment to reassure you that I do use considerable care with your quilty items and want to return them to you in the same, if not better, condition than when you left them in my care. As your lovely piece of work waits patiently in my queue it's stored on a hanger in my closet in my studio and generally it's not handled by anyone other than me as an added measure i am committed to sanitizing all of my hangers um, before during after in between every customer that um, fabric is coming through my studio to get placed in my queue um, and ob obviously I think everybody's doing this, but we have kind of ramped up even cleaning within our own home and my studio. I've just kind of been always committed for that anyway. Well, I wouldn't say that I'm a germaphobe. I do kind of, um, I am a little particular about um, how things are clean. So just know that's a good thing. And then, so my final note is, you know, let's just, we're going to get through all this. It's still a flu and we are in the flu season. Um, let's just work together to stay healthy and educated, balance with a little bit of calmness maybe. And I'll uh, please know that just as far as the long arming goes, I'm here for you. Um, don't hesitate to call or email me if you have any questions or concerns about a quilt that I may already have in my queue or that is coming down into my studio. So 